my creative stampers. How are you? Happy Monday, everyone. Oh my gosh, celebration is still going on. I can't wait to show you what I've got for you today. But before I get into all that, first of all, thank you so much for your prayers and your thoughtful your thoughtful and kind words. Mom is doing much better. Yes, for those of you who don't know, my mother fell uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday, um, and she had to have surgery, but she is she's still in the hospital. My sister and I have been going back and forth uh, watching over her while she's in there, um, and hopefully she's going home. So uh, either today or tomorrow. So that's all good news. Awesome. So thank you again. I so appreciate prayers and and, and everything. So that's you're very kind. I love you. Uh, but like I said, celebration is still going on. And in today's card tutorial video, I am going to spotlight the free Peaceful Prints designer series paper. And you get this paper free when you spend $50. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you choose it as one of your, one of your free items from the celebration brochure. Oh my goodness. What else? What else? Oh, yes. Don't forget, we I, my card kit for September is available right now until the 10th. So um, you can kind of see what they look like right there. Go over to my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. You'll see this image in the upper right corner of the blog. If you're on your phone, it would be at the bottom. You scroll all the way to the bottom and it'll be down there, but you just click on it. Or you can go where it says classes, kits, and click on that menu and it'll take you there also. So that is the card kit that is available. What else do we want to talk about? Oh yes, one more thing. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. One more thing, if you spend $100 with me and use the host code, I am going to send you a retired stamp, uh, stamp bundle, okay? So last month, if you spent $50, I'm, for those of you who uh, last month spent $50 and put in the host code, I'm sending you a free retired stamp, one of my previously used stamp sets. And I have all those over here and I've been addressing them and getting them out in the mail as soon as I can, as fast as I can. Uh, but this month, so for the month of September with this host code, I, um, there we go. <laughs> with this, there we go. My little hey. I, anyways, <clears throat> with this host code, I am going to send you a retired bundle. So the stamp set and the dies together. But you have to spend a hundred dollars and use the host code. Okay. All right. Let's get on with today's project. Today's project I am featuring, like I said, the peaceful prints designer paper. Is this not beautiful? Oh my gosh. And it is complete twelve by twelve sheets. They are front and back, so the one side is this beautiful um, buffalo check, and the other side are these cute deers and snowflakes. This one has little deer um, and plaid on the other side, little trees and, and little dots, little snowflakes, plaid. This is, um, we're using this piece today where you have the stripes on one side and you have, it's either aspen bark or birch bark, I'm not sure. And uh, then this side is green and green, snowflakes and then like um, pine boughs. And the color, <clears throat> the colors that go with this paper, real red, Sahara sand, uh, garden green, uh, cherry cobbler, and basic black. And so those are the colors that all go with this paper. It's just beautiful Christmas paper, and it coordinates with the Peaceful Deer Stamp and Punch. I love this punch. This is such a cute little punch. And it punches out both this deer, and let me pull it up so you can see it better because I'm not gonna actually stamp this deer today. Oh, what fun. And then this one is just um, an outline. So you could color it or put it on colored cardstock and punch it out. But, but what's really cool is that you can punch out the designer paper too, this deer here. So that is really fun. And that's what we're gonna do today. So that's the stamp set that I'm using. What else are we using today? We're also going to use, oh, you know what? I don't have my comments up. I'm so sorry, you guys. I apologize. Here we go. They're coming up. All right. We're also going to use this really fun, um, it's called do, 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 Mini Ruffled Ribbon, and it's in real red. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to use some of that. These gems, the wonderful gems, and they're pretty red, and then kind of a, I don't know, like a champagne, I guess you'd call that. So we're going to use those. I have this die set because I wanted a doily. Um, and so I use this die. This is the Encircled in Beauty 
die set and there's Christmas stamps that fit inside here. And then there's also everyday stamps in the annual catalog that fit in these circles. So that's a really cool set to have. And of course, we're going to use, well, not of course, but we're going to use our layered rectangles. And I'm gonna make a frame and I'm gonna use the piece, the, um, the negative piece um, also. I'm gonna flip it over, it's really cute. So we're not gonna waste any paper here. All right. Uh, let's, now we got the comments going up. Let me scroll down since I missed so many of them. Everybody's pretty much just saying good morning, good morning. I love you guys. Y'all are so awesome everywhere, all over this country. Good morning. And over in uh, Europe and in Australia, good morning. <laughs> Actually, it'll be afternoon. And in Australia, it's the next day. <laughs> I think it's so awesome. Okay. <sighs> let's do this. So my base is a traditional five and a half by four and a quarter Sahara sand, okay, traditional. Then I'm gonna take the designer paper, and like I said, um, with these layered rectangles, I'm going to create the frame and the inside. Now I've already run this through, so I can just go ahead and pop this out of here. All right, I'll pull the tape off. And I just use this purple, very low tack purple crafting tape, washi tape. Um, just, it works great, it won't, you know, as long as you're careful, it's not gonna tear your paper. Um, and it holds the die perfectly still, especially when you're doing something like this, you don't want the die to move when it goes through the machine. You want your frame to be even on all sides. All right, now oh, it looks like we're kind of stuck there. Let me see if I can't maybe get that to, woo, might have to take the snips on that. Yep, okay, come on snips, where are you? I just had you, there you are. Sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through, but that's okay. Come on. And sometimes your snips won't go in there. <laughs> okay, there we go. And there we go. Just wanna make sure I got that straight. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to put this piece on like this, okay? And then this piece that was here we're going to flip it over and use the back side of it. Isn't that fun? So we're not going to waste anything. But I do want my frame to be up on, you know, on dimensional, so it has some dimension. But I want to make sure these stay lined up perfectly. And so the trick is, let me share with you the trick. We're going to, well, um, let me flip this over and get some adhesive on this side. And we're just putting adhesive on, whoops, my notes, um, on this littler rectangle, okay? And we want to make sure that that stays in the rectangle like that, okay? So we're kind of putting it back together. And then put the frame where you want it. Okay, that looks good. And now press down. And now when you lift this piece up, it's free and when you put it back with the uh, dimensionals, it's gonna be right in the place where you want it. So that's kind of a trick to uh, make sure it stays lined up. So now this side, like I said, I want dimensionals. So let's pop some on here and put them in the four corners and some on the sides. Okay, so one here and here. Let's go ahead and reinforce the bottom and the top also. There we go. And then I use the uh, piercing tool to pull, when I have a whole bunch of them to pull off, it, oops. <laughs> um, I just kind of poke it and pull, poke and pull. Let's see if I can get all of them on here. Woo. There we go. And so they're all collected so they don't get all over your craft room, even though they still get all over your craft room. All right, so whoops. Now you have to be careful because the dimensionals are really sticky and you want this frame to land right there. So, okay. And so now when you tilt it to the side, you there's no like real gap. You don't really see the card base there and you don't waste any of your paper. So isn't that fun? Okay, the only thing is I forgot to stamp it before I put the frame on, but that's okay. Um, it, I can still stamp it, that's not a problem. I just can't mess my stamp up because <laughs> I'm in real trouble. Um, all right, so let me follow my directions again. Um, I did my card base. I put my designer series paper with 
this piece on. Now, before I put this frame on, I should have punched my deer out, which I love. So like I said, this punch goes with this DSP and you just punch the deer out and you have it. So there we have our little deer. Next, we're going to cut a white doily, which I've already done. Okay, so this is from, like I said, Encircled uh, Friendships, Encircled, what was it again? Oh goodness, where did it go? Hmm, I just had the silly thing, there it is. <laughs> Encircled in Beauty, that's what it's called, Encircled in Beauty. And there's more than just these two. Just let me show you this real quick. There's also these. So you get five circles. Um, and then, like I said, in the annual catalog, there's an all occasion stamp set. And in the holiday, there's a Christmas stamp set so that sentiments fit inside these circles. So that's a good investment. And we're just gonna put that behind our deer like that so our little deer pokes out. Okay, what else do we need to do? We need to stamp the small rectangle with the tree trunk side. All right, we're gonna stamp this right here. So I pulled these from the stamp set and I have the Merry Christmas, which I'm gonna put up here. And I'm just gonna do that in plain black. Kind of pull the black out of the buffalo check from the deer. Okay, and that is an art tip. I always like to give you all um, art tips. What And the tip is that when you're working with a design, you need to do something to cause your eye to travel around the project, okay? So we have this little deer with some black checks and we have the sentiment. Because we've done them both in black, our eye kind of causes us to see the whole card like this because we, our eyes go into the black and the black. Cool, huh? Well, little thing I learned in art class. All right, now this is tricky because I kind of wanted this off the page a bit and I don't want it to get over here. Now I've already stuck it down, so I've got to give you another tip. The way to solve this problem is get yourself some sticky paper, okay? Get yourself some sticky notes. And we are just going to cover all of this up so that if we stamp over here, it's okay. We're just gonna stamp on that paper, okay? Now, if I wanted to go down here, um, I'd need to stamp there, but I'm not. I want the bottom of my tree to show. And I do want it in garden green. So, like I said, hopefully this will work. Stamp, 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 stamp. Don't need very much, okay? It's the first time to use this stamp, so hopefully it doesn't have any Funny spots, here we go, stamp. Mm. It looks like it's gonna be speckled, I hope not. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Okay, and then when you pull that away, your tree is back behind the frame, cool, huh? Now, uh, there is another, <clears throat> excuse me, another tree that kind of goes with this, but this one I don't want as dark, I want it a little lighter. Okay, and so I'm going to kiss it, and I um, just don't like the way that's being all speckled like that. Hmm, all right, one more time. <sighs> Sometimes it helps to <sighs> get it wet with your breath. Okay, that looks better. And now we're gonna put these trees back here. There we go, all right. And so they kind of look like they're in the background. Close this up. And now we are going to cover up. Now my deer, see how my deer is facing into the card? We want that. If we put it over here, the deer's looking that way and it makes our eye go that way. We don't want our eye to go off the card. We want our deer to, uh, we want our eye to go into the card, okay? So we wanna make sure our face is on this side. And we're just going to attach that to that, real simple. Okay, and our ribbon, where's our ribbon? This is one of my fun things, the things I always do with ribbon. A lot of people are like, oh, I never put ribbon on my card. Well, it's just a simple way to put ribbon on your card. You just put some adhesive on the back, okay? And make sure I'm in the right direction, okay. Lots of things for your eye here. You have your deer, but you also have these stripes, okay? 
And you can have your ribbon going with the stripes or going against the stripes or just kind of going horizontal. But I like for my ribbon to go with, with my stripes. So I need to remember the head is where I want my ribbon to come out. All right, so the head is where I want my ribbon to come out. There, and take my ribbon, and this is how I do it. I take my ribbon, and on this side, I just have a little bit of ribbon kind of poking out there. And I tack it down. Now I take a finger width amount loop over, stick, and then do that again on this side, a finger's width, and stick. Okay, and then trim off. Come on, there we go. And I wanna trim this piece also. Make sure it's in an angle. There we go, all right. And now, when we put our deer on here, our ribbon is going with the flow of the stripes of the paper. This definitely needs to be poked, poked up on dimensionals. <laughs> um, one other thing though, remember, you have this on dimensionals already. So if you put a dimensional here on here, you're gonna be double dimensioned, which is fine, but you just need to make sure this side is double dimensioned or your little guy is gonna be lopsided, okay? So I'm putting this one here, but I'm just putting adhesive on this side. There we go. Okay, and we are finished with our card. What do you guys think? <laughs> Absolutely, Vicki. Vicki said she didn't get this designer paper. There's so many things to choose from on the celebration, and you may not have chosen this paper, and that's fine. Yes, use this. All our designer paper works this way. You just cut the frame out and the inside out, and you just flip the inside and you just create a card. Just put something down here in the corner and put your sentiment in here and you're done. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Or you can cut your sentiment out in a shape, put your sentiment here and put a design up here, either way. So yeah, that card designs are so fun because you can just take the idea and use it with anything. You can make a Halloween card, a birthday card, more Christmas cards, different kind of stuff. So awesome. All right, um, before I go, remember the uh, retired stamp set bundle. I'm giving retired stamp set bundles away free if you purchase $100 and use the host code, okay? So that is right there. Uh, yeah, right there. See it? Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, also, uh, the card class uh, Harvest Meadow card kit um, is available until September 10th. After that, Sorry, you can just get the, you can always get the tutorials. Um, and you can get the tutorials no matter where you live because that's a digital download. But the actual kit to mail to you can only be in the United States and it ends on September 10th. Okay, that's it. You all have a blessed Monday. Thank you again for all your prayers for my mother. She is doing well. And I will see you back here Wednesday for Card Challenge Wednesday. Uh, I have a card sketch for you on Wednesday. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>